morning everyone I see we've got another crisis going on now another stumbling block fuel crisis well I've had a look um, at the map where we're going on Monday um, I reckon I've got enough petrol in the vehicle in the van to get us to where we're going and there's a petrol station in Ingleton which is the nearest town which isn't very far from where we're camped so I think we'll risk setting off on Monday uh, even though um, uh, there could well be problems at the pumps and we get stranded um, but I think I think we'll risk it but anyway that's uh, by the by um, to get back to the story um, when I came when I came um, oh, I, I left you with Pudsey Park on it the job at Pudsey Park I, I did when I did say that I kept going back to the laundry um, I, I I did so three times but when I came back um, th this time I um, at, at some point I tried to join the army in Leeds um, during in, in these in between job periods I uh, I did try and join up but I failed the medical in Leeds because I had well, I've had asthma all my life, um, so I didn't get in. And but by now, my dad's sort of getting quite fed up with me, um, and I think that's one of the reasons why I maybe tried to join up, uh, but it didn't come off. Uh, but uh, I carried on aggravating him um, because I uh, got a job in uh, Leeds at um, a company on call lane in Leeds that made um, uh, what, what we used to call gramophones in the old days, the cabinets with a, a record player deck, um, a radio incorporated in it and also a place to put your albums, your LPs, um, made of mahogany and all that. Um, <clears throat> so this, this was me um, I mean, I never, I didn't want to do it. It, it was a job, um, and of course, uh, I'm, this 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 place was where I met Ken. Um, we were a similar age, and we did not start knocking about together, um, going out on a night looking for talent. Um, but I think the pair of us caused trouble at the, at the company in in Leeds and a, a really crazy thing happened um, because they obviously got fed up with us and they told us a massive lie because um, he said we're closing down we're closing the place down um, and we'd it's strange this because we, I had been go, going with um, a, a, the foreman in a van to this other place, um, taking stuff, equipment and that. Um, but I, I never put two and two together. I had no idea what was going on really. Um, but he, he, he said, um, I want you to go to the post office and... Get you get a national insurance uh, for your cards, and um, I did go and I, I thought it was strange that I won't buy many stamps here, um, and he made it made me and Ken believe that the firm were closing down, and we we really believed it was true, um, and we got the sack, we got us cards. Um, but me and Ken, we went to this 
after some time after um i mean i did get another job uh, straight away if i remember rightly i got sacked in the morning and got another job in the afternoon um and we but some time afterwards we went to this place this where we'd been taking equipment and we climbed up onto the window ledge and looked through the window and everybody was, that worked in calls and the calls were there and they, they just moved and every all the workforce were there they just sacked us too <laughs> which were really crazy um now that's how bad we were uh, me and Ken um, I do remember once going on a round pubs in Leeds looking for talent and um, we went into a pub called the General Elliot anybody who lives in Leeds will probably know this pub but we were a couple of right naives we didn't know it it was a spit and sawdust pub uh, but we went. We said. We said to each other, "We'll just go s walk through the pub to the toilet and see if there's any talent. And if there isn't, we'll just come back out." So we we did. We walked through, and we didn't see anything. And I had a pee. And Ken were finished before me, and he left before me. <clears throat> when I walked out of the toilet, this bloke had on a Ken's head, his hair. And he's bringing his head down onto his knee, like this. <laughs> what's going on here? And I said, hey, I, got, I said to this bloke, what, what's up? What's going on here? And with that, he started nutting me <laughs> while he's still bringing Ken's head down onto his knee and he literally threw us out. This must have been hardest bloke in Leeds that we'd encountered. And we both, both finished up with black eyes. And we'd only been at pub five minutes. Um, so that's, that's the kind of thing we, we were getting up to, um, me and Ken. Um, but I, um, I, I, when I when I left there, I did go to um, um, an engine exchange uh, company. The building is still there. Um, and I... They, I don't know if you ever remember, Gold Seal, Gold Seal ending reconditioning. This this firm did that. Um, they used to completely strip down car engines, and refurbish them. And I worked in degreasing plant, degreasing all parts in this degreaser. Um, hated the job and. Um, I got the sack from there because I refused to work overtime. Um, so that 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 were uh, another job that I'd had. Um, but I, as I say, I kept going back to the laundry, and um, I did go back to the laundry uh, where my dad was boss as as a van boy, uh, and I went out with this chap called Nigel in in he, he, in his van helping him but a really really terrible thing happened while I was there um, one morning Frank who was my dad's he was the supervisor my dad's right hand man he just accosted me and said I'd been stealing money uh, I'd, I was absolutely shocked to Ruth I mean I know I was a, a no good I know, but I'd never stolen um, anything or well uh, now I go back when I was a kid alright I would have been about eight and I stole a diary from a shop in Leeds and my dad found out and he he took me back to the shop with this diary 
and I'll never forget it because it was on a day that the Queen visited Leeds and there were crowds of people on the pavements all waiting to see the Queen. Um, I mean, I suppose it would not have been that long after a coronation. Uh, but my dad took me back to this shop and I had to hand this diary back to the shop owner and apologise. Yeah. Well, all right, I did steal something, but I was not a thief. That that was a, a silly thing as a, as a child. Um, this this incident at the laundry, I, I had no idea what he was on about. How, how I had stolen money, where? I, I had no idea where he meant I had stolen money from. And um, when I got in the van, this guy, you see, he knew I was the boss's son. This guy was gloating over it and um, saying things to me, provoking me. And I walked out of the van and I just walked. I just walked off and uh, walked and walked and walked and I finished up in Ilkley. I had walked from a, an housing estate in Leeds to Ilkley. What the hell I thought I were going to do, I don't know. But I sat on a bench in Ilkley and I, I'm just, I just must have had enough money to get on a bus back. I got a bus home. Of course, my dad was totally humiliated at the laundry and played bloody holy hell with me and um, it won't be the last time he was he was fed up with me <laughs> yeah that was the that was the end of that escapade at the laundry as well <laughs> you see you. yeah I need to add something here because some years, well, I don't know how long later after this incident, when I were accused of thieving, that um, it turned out that this Nigel bloke were embezzling money. Um, they found out about it and he got the sack. Um, but I never got an apology from my dad about that. 